Hello everybody and welcome back. So today we are playing a game called Orwell. Now uh, I was recording another Ironside video but uh, recording the game and playing the game is a is quite a demanding task for my laptop which has got integrated graphics and a very slow hard drive as in 5400 RPM so yeah um, this game is a bit less taxing than that so yeah so Orwell is basically according to Steam website or the Steam homepage it's pretty much you being Big Brother so I have played this game a couple of years ago or a year ago somewhere around there but I've forgotten everything what's happened but I also didn't play that much I was like what half an hour or something um, so basically from what I gather is you work for an intelligence agency or something and you pretty much scroll through people's lives like through social media calls messages that sort of thing to get an idea of who is actually the terrorist behind um, some terrorist acts that have happened in I'm not sure if it's a fictional area or what but yes so we'll create our new character you have been selected for the Orwell test phase. okay profile photo he looks like he could spy on people or he, he, he looks like a high school English teacher one of the two hmm spy 01 oh I can't put okay spy boy I'm spy boy that sounds about right I am aware that my actions may severely impact the lives of citizens of the nation. I will work thoroughly and judge objectively in the best of my belief. While working, I will adhere to the laws and jurisdiction of the nation. Sounds like I'm going into Russia or something. The motherland. So this is a very like uh, minimalistic uh, 2D, obviously, game. And... Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Freedom Plaza. Okay. So, a normal day by the looks of it. Whoa, this is some watchdog stuff going on here. Okay. Ooh, okay. So she has a criminal record. And she's getting on the bus and leaving. She wanted. Oh, flip. Is there a bomb? It's definitely an explosion. Was that that lady who planted it? The clocks were stri striking 13. You're online. Good. Yes, master. Call me Symes. I will be your advisor in or on Orwell. Together we will form both the first and the last line of defense against terrorism. For this test phase, you are one of the first people to try out the Orwell system under real circumstances, selected from thousands of applicants from across the globe. Normally, congratulations would be in order, but as you can see from that footage, there has been an instant. So, let's get started. I've activated the reader tool for you. Its purpose is storing bookmarks to online websites and documents for easy access, and to highlight when there is new information to be investigated. First, I want you to be informed of the situation. Our leading newspaper, The National Beholder, will bring you up to speed. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, 
is actually loading. What? Hectic. Feel free to browse that. Open the browser file once you're done. Okay. Boston explosion destroys that. Three people killed, five injured. Authorities receive a strange letter. So there's going to be a lot of reading in the game. Um, I'll, I'll I'll scroll through it and everything, but I don't think I'll read all of it because it's just going to end up being a lot of me reading stuff, and it won't be very action actiony. So yeah. Okay. Profiler holds all known information on those we investigate. The file you have opened is for our main suspect. The blue haired woman, yes, the one that has a police record. Okay, where is it? What? Uh, where's the arrest record? Oh, oh, okay. Cassandra Watergate. The highlighted elements on the record are pieces of data that are able to be extracted. We call these data the we call ah, we call these elements data chunks. Hovering over data chunks will reveal their relevance to the case and any connections or information it may influence. Drag and drop all data chunks from the police database into a profile to upload them to our servers. But would it be like that all the time? Like where it's highlighted? Like can I add my own stuff? Okay, arrest date, July 10, assault on a police officer. She was arrested after Officer Franklin had been struck by an unknown object and became unresponsive. The protesters at the origin of the assault were forcibly moved where the suspect was found kneeling and weeping over the ground. When asked to lay on the ground with her hands behind her back, the suspect corrupted immediately. But they don't say that was her. Wait, was there... What? This doesn't make too much sense. Unless they know it was her that has struck a police officer. Okay. So... Ooh, headlines. I've read that. Just read all of these. It's pretty cool, it's like in the, well it is a website so it's nice that they make it look sort of good like that. Can I go on the dating site? No? Okay. What day is it today? April 13, 2017. Okay. Uh, wait, what do I do now? Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. That, that was not, that was, that, that was not, did they say yellow? Um. photo as well. Right. Oh, okay, I see. Can I accommodate him? Clearly assigned to talk the person and the reason for her arrest. Bring this info to progress. Okay. This cannot be undone. Good with the new document cannot be accessed. Do you believe in coincidence? I do not find data revealing where she attacked the police officer and you'll see what I mean. What? <laughs> Is this woman a terrorist? One allegedly injured a police officer two weeks ago remains in custody. Trial scheduled for August, so her trial has not happened yet. Okay.
so she threw a brick at a police officer. Okay. The exact same location as this one, and she turned there. So at that same, okay. As you know, is running around free. We should also gather more background information on her. I want to know what we're dealing with. That's her profession. One related document found. One of the street dog. Obviously, she's a suspect because there's a lot of things happening here. She was, she threw a brick at this officer at the same place where a bomb went off, and she was there just before the bomb went off and then left in a bus. So things don't look good for her, but something doesn't add up. You have extracted all the info. I already know about Miss Watergate. Starting now, I'm going into this case blind. Okay, so that was like the tutorial. Orwell Ethical Codex dictates what the investigators that investigators like yourself are the only ones allowed to access the documents of target persons. Advisors like me only get to see the data provided by the investigators, then we draw conclusions. Your primary job is to provide information you deem important. Never give away incorrect or misleading data. So does that mean I'll have a choice? You may hit disable in a data chunk you do not want to pass on to Orwell. However, some might be necessary. Will those necessary ones be undisableable? Disableable? Because, I mean, if they aren't, then, like, you could break the game. Uh, that's not needed. And you found the courage you could. Okay. That's. Yeah. No. Oh, I can re enable it. Okay. Quit my day job to focus. Uh, I'd say that's. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's definitely important. You tell account. The listener. The listener. Oh, that sounds very invasive. Okay. Free of charge? That's actually very generous. Mm. You know what, that's a mugshot, so might as well put that... I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter. That's a very non-flattering photo compared to the previous one. And again, that is my opinion. Oh, wait, what? Okay, there's still something here. That's... Oh. Okay. She is daughter of entrepreneurs. Okay, that would be in that would be definitely something you'd need info you'd need because we can find out who that person is. What's this? Oh, okay. Next, okay, listener. Unknown person. Hey you, Jossie. How do we? Why? How? Okay. Can't seem to find my credit card. I see. Look, took it right. Uh, he got me, Sherlock. I'm in the middle of buying all that bond 
What? I'm in the middle of buying all the bonds and with that platinum card I lifted from your desk. Can't stop me now. Well, I fear you, I don't mind you going to splurge as long as you pick up some wine for dinner. Okay, this is probably the person he's in a relationship. She's in a relationship with. Wine. Wait, what does it say? Reflying lawyer. Probably just a business called one of his favorite clients. The data tongue's all new PF photo is personal and can be extracted. Okay. Daughter from a Susical imprint. Uh, upload that. Mitigate. Uh, maybe I'm gonna, gonna text you later. Okay. Okay, what have we got here? Watergate. is this mood elevating medica medication lemon Ugh. cough drops based on natural herbs okay company my name, the name, oh, what is that? The name Watergate has been inseparable. Bruno Watergate. Alice Watergate. Does that, that's her, how do I, okay, I can't upload that. She's junior COO. She was? Chief Operations Officer. Okay, we can do that, I guess. Don't need to. Uh, is it actually the same? Oh, yeah. <laughs> A document. Okay, okay that's definitely info I need. So yeah, this is basically a family run company and they're quite a big pharma company by the looks of it. But uh, yes, this is unfortunately all we have time for because, uh, well, my internet's not the best and uploading does take forever. So <laughs> once that gets sorted out, I'll have to keep my videos a bit shorter. But I hope everyone's enjoying it and yeah thank you for all of your support it does mean a lot and i'm really enjoying this massively so thank you oh my goodness what was that okay thank you so <laughs> thank you so much everybody and have a good day see you in the next one ciao